Hi guys, so this week what you're going to be doing for your lesson is working with some sources of historical knowledge. So what this video is going to do is just show, give you an example of how you would approach doing some work with historical sources. So you can see on the screen at the moment I have one source displayed and there's a number of questions under it. Now this is a source taken from Making History, a textbook by Dermot Lucy. This is not the source that you're going to be working with today. This is just an example of a, how you would approach a source. Okay, so the steps that I'm going to take here are the same kind of steps that I would like you to take when you're looking at the sources that you have been provided with. Okay, so the first thing we do when we look at a source. Now, with this, we're going to have quite a limited amount of time. So we want to know what is what questions are we being asked, first of all. So we're going to go just below the source here and you can see our three questions so the first question is this a primary or secondary source okay so what i would suggest you do is you highlight or underline the key words here so for me the key words there are primary or secondary so i'm going to underline them from this source so question two from this source what do we learn that medieval people believed caused the black death so medieval people believe medieval people or medieval beliefs I don't need, I don't need the word believed here and a black death and then it's question three from this source what do we learn about the medical knowledge so medical of medieval people in general so I'll underline, sorry, just put the wrong button there, medieval people. Okay, so first question, all I need to know is this a primary or secondary source. Second question, medieval people's beliefs about black death. And third question, medical knowledge of medieval people. And so now that I know the main information that I'm looking for, I'm going to go back to the source. Now, every time I look at a source, I should be given some basic information about the source, either just, above, just at the top or just at the bottom. And you can see here that this information is given in brown underneath, and it says adapted from a modern history textbook. So that's already giving me the information I need to answer question one. So is this a primary or secondary source? Now we know that a primary source is a source, a first-hand account, so it comes from the time or is written by a witness, okay? whereas a secondary source is a second-hand account, so it comes from after the time or it's written by someone who didn't really witness the event, wasn't present there, and so it is second-hand information. So if this comes from a modern history textbook, we know that this wasn't from the time period. It's from our time period, it's from a modern time period. Okay, so... We're going to say that this is a secondary source because it's not because it's secondhand information. Okay, but what we do not do is just write secondary source. Right, that's not good enough. Right, that is just not a full answer. Right, in history we write full sentences. So what we need to write in full detail is source. I just got rid of that. Here's. Strike through and source two is adapted from a modern history textbook. This means that it is concise and Sorry guys, <laughs> second hand information and as such this is a secondary source. Okay, and that is the kind of answer that we're given. So full sentences. So source two is that from a modern history textbook. This means that second hand information as such is a secondary source. Okay. Now, you could do that a little bit more simply. You could say source 2 comes from a modern history textbook, and for this reason it is a secondary source. All right? But you need to be really clear that why, with the full sentences why this is a secondary source. Okay? The ones you look at 
maybe primary or maybe secondary, but again, you're looking at giving full sentences in answer to it. So now we're going to go back and we're going to actually read the source. So source two. For many, the disease was caused by the vapours, fumes, coming from lakes and bogs. The wrath or anger of God at the sins of mankind often provided the main force, followed by the influence of the coming together of the planets, especially Mars and Saturn. Some said the corrupt air was released from below, from below the surface by earthquakes, along with snakes and frogs. So, this is not the most clear extract in terms of what it's telling us, okay? But what we can do is we know from the questions that's talking about the Black Death, so we can start to try and figure some information out here, okay? So the disease, the disease is obviously the Black Death, was caused by vapours or fumes coming from lakes and bogs, okay? So I'm just going to underline this, and sorry, my underlining here system is not the strongest system in the world. F1, yeah, I'll be able to do this a bit more quickly now in a second. Let's change that to yellow. Might stand out a bit more, does it? Yeah, yellow's a bit better. So the disease was caused by vapors or fumes coming from lakes and bogs. Okay. The wrath or anger of God for the sins of mankind. Oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Wrath or anger of God, followed by the influence or coming together of the planets. So, and some said the corrupt air was released from below the surface by earthquakes, along with snakes and frogs. And so, I want to underline earthquakes. Okay, so the question I'm being asked is. From the source, what do we learn that people believe caused the Black Death? And I know that the disease was caused by vapors, fumes, the wrath of God, the coming together of planets, and earthquakes. So there's quite a lot of information there. So I'm going to go back here to my question just underneath. And again, I'm going to write in full sentences. I'm not just going to put bullet points. I need full sentences for this. So from source two, we learn that. Many people need there. There were a number of possible causes for the black death. These possible causes included. Fumes from lakes slash bogs, anger of God, movement of the planets, or possibly. Earthquakes along with snakes and frogs. Okay, and that there is me giving all the key information from this. So from source two, we learned that many people believe there were a number of possible causes for the Black Death. These possible causes included fumes from lakes and bogs, the anger of God, the movement of the planets, or possibly earthquakes along with snakes and frogs. And that is giving me all the information here, but I'm giving it in a clear, concise way, using my own words. And I'm, yes, I may be quoting from here, okay, I'm drawing my information directly from the source, but I'm showing that I'm taking important information and I'm not just writing out total source, okay. Source three now, or sorry, question three is a little bit more abstract, okay, from, from the source, what do we learn about medical knowledge of the pe medieval people in general? So just going to involve a little bit more thinking. Now, we've already read the source. And we know that they don't seem to have the best medical knowledge because they don't really understand where this disease is coming from. All right? They are blaming it on fumes, they're blaming it on God, they're blaming it on the planets. Now, in modern days, we definitely wouldn't be talking about God or the planets causing the disease. 
we would maybe talk about think look at how we were looking at how bacteria and viruses spread disease. Okay, so we're going to have they compared to us, they have a much more limited understanding of medicine. Okay, so from so I want to change this a little bit now. So it's from source to source to of clear information about the medical knowledge of medieval people from this we see that you did not seem to understand that germs carry rats caused the best rather their medical understanding seems to be beliefs the wrath of God or superstitions coming together planets Science compared to the modern day, the heavy evil people had a limited medical knowledge. Okay, so again, full sentences. So, source two gives us a lot of clear information about the medical knowledge of medieval people. From this source, we see that medieval people did not seem to understand that germs carried by rats caused a black death, but rather their medical understanding seemed to be based more on. A uh, line's gone missing there. there we go. On religious. Based more on religious beliefs, the wrath of God, or superstitions coming together of the planets, than on science. I should read some of this. Compared to modern day, it is clear that the medieval people have limited medical knowledge. So you can see three different, three or four sentences here, full details given, okay, not simple bullet points, but one line answers. And this is how we look at answering questions on sources. We look, we under, we look at the question, we underline the keywords, we go to a source, we underline the information we need, and then we give it all in our own words, full details, full sentences, really really clear and well explained okay so in the sources that you're looking at i'm going to be looking for you to do the same thing as this okay details full sentences please no single word answers okay any questions just let me know and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thanks guys